in order to understand anything as complex as prison or the culture of the institution itself, you have to throw yourself into those realities because there's no way you can understand them if you simply sit back and read about them or watch them on TV. You have to go see what they are face to face in order to understand that world. My best friend's in Jamaica, my other best friend's in Cancun, and I'm going to Soledad. I'm going to this little weird. I mean, not many people are able to go inside a prison and sit down and talk with the prisoners. And I think that this is the opportunity of a lifetime. And I am just so excited to just go there and experience and walk the yard. Yeah, I'm really nervous to jump on that bus tomorrow. More excited than nervous, but definitely my gut is going to be shaking the whole time. <laughs> My wife thinks I'm crazy, but uh, I'm also in the military too, so she's used to the, me doing dumb things. So. <laughs> the grade A death row inmates, all around swell. When I think of inmates, I think of nasty, dirty, just not your average person. So I'm hoping that this will make me think a little bit different. Maybe they're human also. Nobody trusted me because I, you know, I'd steal your wallet and help you look for it. <laughs> you know, that's the kind of drug addict I was. <laughs> When you have nothing and someone says, you know what, we're going to help you, that you don't have to be in prison for the rest of your life, then you take that pretty seriously. My father hasn't told me, but he's told my mom, I don't think she should be doing this. I don't think she really knows what she's up against. If something happens, then something happens. If you see me break and run, try to stay close. <laughs> Right now, I feel that most prisoners, well, all of them, I feel that they belong there. <laughs> so I'm hoping to see if maybe my mind will change because I'm all about locking them up and, you know, keeping them in there <laughs> if they've done something horrible. And I never hated anybody that I knew personally, never, ever. Um, but what I did was I looked across a room or looked across the prison yard and thought, God, I hate that person. And it's easy to hate from afar, I think, without knowing somebody. Once you get to know somebody on a more personal level, it's almost impossible for you to hate them. No professional people ever came into my life and put me in their car or took me to their home and said, hey, this is what you could be. The drug dealers, the pimps, the hustlers, the gamblers, they did. TV and movies, I think they, they misinterpret too much. The best source is probably just going and like actually experiencing like what we're doing and so like if you hear it from people that actually get to do this then you'll probably get like the real view going into it i didn't know how i felt about them i didn't know whether i would be disgusted or hate them i had no idea now i think they're people and that we need to try to give them a chance and they don't have a lot of opportunity to prove themselves it just seems that all the rehabilitation programs that we went to the prison for just, I mean, I'm sorry to say, but half-assed, not really intended to really change someone's life or more keep the inmates busy. I expected it to be um, inmates locked down, like snarling at you through their cells, like just a terrifying experience in general. When we were walking through the different um, factories where they made the socks and the t-shirts. I was talking to one of the inmates, like he was a regular guy on the street, and I think that is what opened my eyes a lot. Here I was, you know, just having this great conversation with someone who took a life. Um, I think that was the moment that's really etched in my mind. Until you experience it yourself, you really have no idea, no concept of it. And we have these perception of these monsters, people who make, do these horrendous crimes. We need to remember humanity, that we are all human. And we do make mistakes, because these guys, some of them could make a big difference. Um, and we've seen it, we just need everybody else to. Delancey Street was probably uh, my favorite part of the whole tour. How could I get involved with something like that to make a difference in someone's life? You know, take someone who had such a rough life where they're belittled and people tell them that they're not worth anything and like, they really don't think that they have a purpose in the world, but you could turn it around and like make them feel like they do.